Hello, as an employer administrator, you are responsible for authorizing and removing employer user access to the ASRS Secure Employer website. When an employer user needs to regain access to their employer user account, they may do so using the Having Trouble Logging In link, which provides an unlock code via email. If the employer user has terminated employment, they should no longer have access to their employer email account. Therefore, if that user attempted to gain unauthorized access to the ASRS Secure Employer website, they would be unable to do so even if an employer administrator had failed to deactivate their employer user account. Some employers do not have their own email domains or may have employer users who have alternate email domains, including publicly available domains such as gmail.com, yahoo.com, cox.net, etc. In that circumstance, employer administrators can maintain acceptable email domains for their users. Log in to the ASRS Secure Employer website. From your employer homepage, select Maintain Employer Contacts from the left navigation menu. Click on the Maintain Email Domains button under the Employer Address Information section. For more information about email domains, hover your mouse above the information icon. You will see a list of the currently accepted email domains for your employer. To add a new domain, click on the Add a New Email Domain button. Enter the domain name, which is the portion following the at symbol. For example, if your email address is newemployee at newcity.gov, you would enter the domain name as newcity.gov. Click the Add Email Domain button or Cancel to return to the list of email domains. To remove an email domain from the Employer Email Domain list, click the Remove Domain link to the right of the one you wish to remove. Note that if you have only one listed, you will not be permitted to remove it before adding a second. You must click Remove Email Domain from the confirmation page in order to fully remove it. If you remove a domain which is still in use by a registered employer user for your employer, that user will be prompted to choose an approved email domain upon their next login. Now you know all about maintaining authorized email domains. The final video in this series will cover accessing the employer user activity report. See you there.